if, if anyone tells you that, that they weren't surrounded by drugs when they were in the rave scene, then, then they're not being honest. I guess the most popular drugs are going to be stuff like ecstasy, MDMA. Probably more ecstasy than anything else, isn't it? In Ireland, certainly, people would half a pill. Yeah. And that would do them for the night. Whereas I came here and people were necking, you know, three or four. I said, two pound pills, all the boys are running about with our face all the place. Everybody was so nice, like, there was never any fights. I don't think I've ever seen a fight, mm -hmm. I do, to be honest. Never. If I'm being totally honest, I don't think I've ever seen a fight. Fighting has. Everybody loves each other. Why do you us? All fully love. The ecstasy did help. No, no two ways about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So the ecstasy made people not fight, basically? Well, I think so, yeah. Yeah. One million percent. I guess what ecstasy's doing, so it's working on your serotonin regulation in your brain, and that's yeah. one of the neurotransmitters that gives you feelings of happiness and well-being. It would be naive to suggest that it didn't play a huge part in the, the growth, the success, the culture. You know, all of it, all of it was inexorably linked with drugs. It's as simple as that. So the chemical landscape, that fed the music? Definitely, yeah. In some ways, the two things do dovetail. So I think it's impossible to stop people wanting to use drugs. It's always been there. So it's about how do we make people as safe as possible. But no matter how sensible you are, Katie, right? One pill can still kill, can't it? Yeah, there's definitely risks there. Did the drugs landscape in Scotland at the time cause you anxiety in your events? I think it causes everybody been dancing anxiety. I don't think anybody could get away from it. It's, it's, it's scary, yeah. And the two things, were, they were linked, right, but they were almost in opposition, and then other ways they complemented each other. Because people would say the music wouldn't be there without the drugs. It's a catch-22, it? it is. It's a catch-22. I think it's really hard for people organising events because there's this pressure to not have drugs at your event and you know for a lot of the organizers you know that might be their goal but realistically speaking that is just an impossible task what goes up must come down by 2012 i've been struggling with addiction for years and with my mental health i had to stop using all drugs for me the party was over for over 10 years i'd been absolutely caning it do you think there was a bravado about taking pills in Scotland? There's definitely an element of bravado. I mean, I think we see that with all sorts of things in that age group. We're talking like 18 to 21 or whatever, you know, we think we're invincible at that age. So we used to get like people talking about, oh, they're the really strong ones, um, but I'm quite hardcore, so I can take a couple and I'll be all right. People that have difficult experiences, the typical things are going to be, if it's mental health, they might become kind of agitated, they might experience panic attacks because you're getting your heart rates going sure, up sure. and that can be quite anxiety It almost simulates a panic attack, yeah. um, doesn't it? So fast heart, um, racing thoughts, yeah. etc. Yeah, exactly. Quite a frightening experience for some people. Yeah, absolutely. And particularly if people have got underlying anxiety, you can imagine that can be quite frightening for them. We were not immune to the headlines, but we didn't really care. Sometimes you get a new batch and you used to just say, well, somebody needs to try them. And then we would drink a bottle of Buckfast and, you know, we would guinea pig them. I'm probably lucky to be alive. I'm really curious to hear what your experience was like, you know, when you were talking about it so, being overwhelming. I've got a complicated relationship with drugs. Right? Yeah, Because yeah. I loved them, right, and I used to shout about them all the time, and then it went wrong, you know what I mean? And now I probably in the demonising camp. I had trouble with pacing, you know? I would get excited, you know? These were the events I loved, and then I would take too many drugs too quickly. I had my first panic attack while using drugs, and that became a legacy that lasted long after my drug use had ended. Um, it, you could say I was predisposed to that, but I can't help think that if I hadn't used the drugs, I might not have took that first panic attack. You might be right. You might, if you didn't have that trigger, that maybe would have just stayed dormant, and that's an important point to make. Like many studies have found this, that um, you know, 10% of people that use drugs. Um, will experience more significant problems. So that gives you 90% of people that might use recreationally and then stop using and then never have any issues. But for that 10%, and I think what I'm hearing is that was your experience, yeah. those problems can be really serious. So yep. it, it's just about whether you're in that 90 or that 10%. All drug use has risk. People definitely need to be aware of that and think about not just the physical effects, but the potential mental side effects.